I'm no expert in driving on Earn By Time, which is why I'm out here driving on, you guessed it, Earn By Time. But have you seen anything like this before? Six dollar bonus pay. It's a little different. Obviously, it's not per order. It's per hour. Six dollar. Are we still calling it peak pay? I don't know. But uh, you can only decline once per hour, as you probably know on Earn By Time on DoorDash. And I got this order going uh, quite a ways uh, east here in Pittsburgh. I let it go. I'm like, all right, yeah, not fantastic. It's what, $22.50 uh, an hour plus tips. And then I got this one. It's a stacked order. First pickup is from that same restaurant. Obviously, I got a second pickup. But it's shorter miles. It says it's going to take a good amount of time as well. So there's a trade-off there because I have to do another pickup. So why not? Why, I want to see how this is. So $22.50 on $6 per hour plus peak pay earned by time on DoorDash. Is this going to be worth it? Is it going to be a complete bust? Let's find out. Pickup number one, seamless at uh, my favorite alley side pickup spots here in Pittsburgh. Literally, it's in an alley. Virtual kitchen, that's how I do it. So now I got six minutes, 2.2 miles to Papa John's. I know where it's at, but then again, I got two drop-offs after this. DoorDash quoted like 52 minutes for this delivery, so let's see. All right, could it be that the craziest thing just happened to me? Listen to this. This order was also instantly ready, folks. 12, oh, it's 12 minutes though. 3.6 miles to this customer. I mean, best case scenario, we're two for four. All we need are uh, two seamless drop-offs, and uh, we're optimizing on time here on Earn By Time. All right, easy enough. Customer came out, and I still took a picture. I'm not not doing it. I mean, you can click handed it, I guess, but I uh, didn't even want to consider that. I was just like, hey, just got to take a picture real quick. Set it down, picture, boom. There you go. Have a good night. Now, I have a question. Since I'm driving on Earn By Time, and the $6 per hour incentive goes until now, until 8 p.m. So that's done. So my question is, I wonder how much uh, hourly bonus, if any, is going to be present after I'm done with this delivery. Because it's already after 8. And I'm on a, a dash right now. I'm on a delivery. So we'll see. Do you think it's going to be down to zero? Or do you think there's going to be some kind of hourly peak pay incentive? Let's find out. All right, number one, am I on the bumpiest brick road here in Pittsburgh? Yes. Number two, what did you comment down below? After, oh, here we go, here's some pavement, ready? And there we go, folks. <laughs> number two, how much, I asked you, hourly peak pay is there now? Because it was ending at 8 p.m., $6. I'm gonna show you the breakdown actually in a little bit here of those earnings. What after that though? So here's the answer. If you didn't type it in, you can type it in now. Currently, there is zero dollar peak pay. <laughs> there is absolutely nothing. And at least I can tell that by going into the uh, main menu when you're on a dash and it should say like, hey, $2 peak pay until 8 p.m. or whatever. I don't know if it's different for him by time. I'm assuming I'm still on earn by time because I'm still dashing. I didn't stop dashing. Now here's what you can do because half of me thinks it's kind of going to be dead now, uh, 8, 14 PM. You can still stay online because if you technically go offline right now and you drive back into a busy zone, which is what I'm doing right now, I'm driving into a busier zone, then it's no longer business miles. Technically they're commuting miles, which generally you can't write off. I'm not a CPA. Not a task professional, consult yours, but uh, that's what the research tells me. Because technically, you're not online with any gig apps. You can't even get a request, so how can these be business miles? You could say, yeah, it's strategic miles. I'm intending to do business when I get there, but currently, these miles, you don't intend on taking any business between now and there. So what you can do is just stay online and keep getting order requests, and obviously, if there's a good one, take it. And if not, you can decline it. You're free to do that as an independent contractor. So when you stay online intending to do business, then I can document these miles as business miles. So running out there for an hour at 7.15 p.m. until 8.15 p.m., I made $23.32, completed two deliveries, both tipped. 
A touch lower than average, $3.25. I always want 4 to $5 on an average customer tip here. The business miles, 11.8 for a pretty good payout per mile, $1.98 paid out per mile. And really, the only reason that's not even higher is, remember, I actually stayed online from my ending destination, which was a little bit further away, and rode that back into a busier zone. And I did stay online a little bit, but not all the way until I got back home here because... Again, there was no peak pay on either option there, and it wasn't particularly busy either. Based on those business miles, I get a tax deduction of $7.73. But I wanna ask you a question. Again, when is it better? Because imagine, let's say, well, I think there was actually standard peak pay on the earn per offer, so let's say it's like $3. But then there's double peak pay on earn by time, but remember that is only on active time. But then you can think, well, I'm only getting paid really on active time anyway on earn per offer. Active time is just when you're actively on an assignment from when you accept it to the moment you drop it off. So either option, you're not getting paid anyway for just being online waiting for a request. But look at this math here. If I didn't have this prorated $4.49, peak pay per hour because I was actually only active for 44 minutes here, I got the 449 instead of the full $6. So that $23.32 that I earned with that incentive would have been $18.83 without that earn by time incentive. But even considering that, like Mike, well, you took away the $4 and some hourly peak pay, what would have been the earn by offer peak pay? Let's say it was $3. Even that, even if it's $3 versus $6 an hour, there's no guarantee that you'd have an equal comparison because how do we know that the tips would have been consistent? You might have had bad luck there. Maybe DoorDash's base pay would have been different. Maybe this order would have gotten you know, like $2.50 base pay versus for whatever reason, maybe it's $3.50 on this order. And I originally thought that maybe you wanna use earn by time when it's slow because you're not doing anything so you can accept the bad order is like literally like $4, five, $6, and hopefully gets even more money because you're getting paid more on that hourly guarantee, especially if there happen to be hourly peak pay. So I still think that could work, but a lot of you, thank you for commenting on our videos on Earn By Time, et cetera, highlighted, well, what if orders take a long time? So if I did one, two, or kind of the rare triple stacked orders, and there's a delay, there's two delays, there's traffic, and this order, let's say I was only able to do two per hour, versus if I'm really moving, I can do three, maybe four in an hour, then I'm making the same money, maybe even more money in some cases, and I'm driving possibly less miles there. And I'm earning that because, yeah, it's taking longer, and frankly, you don't even have to sweat about any delays because you're guaranteed to make X amount, it's even better again if there's hourly peak pay plus tips. Because the more and more I think about it, there's not really a catch all one scenario example. I think there's a lot of different scenarios where you can use one over the other, different strategies, how different markets perform. Maybe this market has a ton of traffic. Maybe this market is slow and it doesn't have a lot of orders. So if you did earn by offer, you'll get one two offers and maybe they're just absolutely horrible versus just kind of cutting the losses there and getting the guaranteed pay.